Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Recaps. Yes, recaps are back for now. It has been seven long months since I've done my last recap video. The last one I did was about February. I made that video in March. And literally, about a day or so after making that video, the whole movie schedule went to hell. <laughs> like, all the movies I was planning to talk about for a March recap, gone. All for April, May, June, July, gone. In a matter of months, all those movies either moved back or went to VOD. Yeah, so obviously I can't make a recap video if there's no movies to recap, if there's no box office to recap. Yeah, so I had to wait until movie theaters reopened again, which took a very long time. They reopened in August. So, not only are we going to do an August recap, but because the schedule has been so sparse, we're going to do a September recap too. So, it's a two-in-one. Two-in-one. Because it's been a month since movie theaters have reopened. Most of them reopened nationwide. And things have been bad. Very, very bad. As you're about to soon find out. So first, we're going to do August. <sighs> Here we go. There's Antebellum. I'm not going to talk about it because it went to VOD. So there's no point in talking about it. So we're just going to ignore that. I'm also going to ignore Bill and Ted Face the Music. Because that also went to VOD and theaters. We're... we're I'm only going to cover movies that were theatrical only. No VOD, no theater, VOD hybrid, none of that. Theatrical only. I'm going to make that perfectly clear. Okay. Here we go. Unhinged. Unhinged. This was the first. This was the guinea pig. Now, the numbers predicted it would make... A million dollars which is understandable because there was so much uncertainty about it no one knew how many people would show up you know it's very incredibly difficult to predict i had a hard time predicting how well it would do in my prediction video uh but i will say it definitely made more than a million dollars in fact uh Uh, I'm trying to find a way to get it on here. There we go. It has made seventeen million dollars, which is seventeen times bigger than a million. So, hooray! I guess. I guess it's better than nothing. I mean, I think I predicted this opening weekend would be between one and six million dollars. I I feel like I forgot what I predicted. I think it was but somewhere between like ten, twenty, thirty, somewhere in that range for its total growth. So seventeen million, considering the marketplace, considering how a lot of theaters aren't at full capacity. You know, it's a lot of a lot of new stuff's been enforced. This isn't terrible, but if this was released in a more normal time, it probably would have done the same, probably a little bit better, but I don't think it would have done that well anyway, because it's very niche. I mean, Russell Crowe, sure, he's recognizable, but his track record's kind of spotty, and this feels like, this This did, for me, personally... This didn't feel like a theatrical event. It felt like something that should have just been on VOD. It feels like something that should have been like on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon or something. Not theatrical. But you know what? I'll give the distributor, uh, Solstice, Solstice Studios, I'll give them credit. They, they're probably the bravest studio out there to, to at least 
try to bring people back to the theater because all the other big players, Warner Brothers, Disney, um, Universal, uh, Paramount, uh, Lionsgate, trying to think of some others. That's all I can think of right now. Sony. They were like, yeah. <laughs> no. No, thanks. So I'll give credit to Unhinged. It it tried. It tried, and I mean the results were better than expected, but seventeen million really isn't all that great in the grand scheme of things. It's only made twenty seven million worldwide, has a budget of thirty million. I'll probably make some of its money back on VOD when it eventually reaches there and streaming and stuff. But yeah. Yeah, Unhinged was the guinea pig. Next up, New Mutants. This was the second test subject. They thought it would make $15 million. The numbers thought it would make $15 million. I think I've said around the same thing. I think it said like 20-ish million. And it, it made it to 20 million, close enough to 20 million. It's made 39 million total. Um the budget was 67 million. So the movie's a bomb. But everyone knew it would bomb. This movie went through so many issues. Like, this was supposed to come out way back in 2018. And God, I wish I could travel back to 2018. Because that, that 2018 was a lot better <laughs> than now. I'd pick, like, of the past 10 years. Any year in the past 10 years, I would pick over this year. No question. But anywho... Yeah, this was supposed to come out in 2018. I remember seeing a trailer for it in October of 2017. And I was like, oh, this looks kind of interesting. This looks different. I could check it out. But then it didn't make that uh, 2018 release date. It was supposed to come out in April 2018. Didn't make it. It got pushed back to February of 2019. Didn't make it either. Got pushed back to August 2019. Didn't make it <laughs> again. In fact, I made a video, a prediction video on this movie last year because I thought it would stick to that August release date. Didn't happen, so I had to delete it. And I hate when that happens because it feels like a waste of effort. But then I got pushed back to April and a lot of people assumed it would stay there because they released a new trailer. Everyone was convinced it would it would stay it would stick to that April release date. Nothing could hap nothing's gonna happen. But then COVID happened, and they had to move it back again. And a lot of people assumed that it would just go straight to VOD. They would just put it on Hulu, just put it on there. But thing is, they couldn't. Disney, uh, who bought Fox, this was a Fox movie. Disney bought Fox last year, so this is their property. This is their problem. See, they couldn't put it on any streaming service they was they were con contractually obligated to put this in theaters they had no choice so they pushed it to august 28th and just said you know what screw it just put it out there let it die <laughs> it was gonna bomb anyway like at least when we put it out there we never have to worry about it ever again and that's exactly what happened. The movie turned out to be no good. Nobody cared for it. It bombed. It died. And that's it. But in terms of the... The po well, the... The post-reopening of theaters. All the movies that opened but when theaters reopened. It's the second best of the bunch. In terms of money. When 19 million is the second best, you have a humongous problem. This shouldn't be happening, but it is because everything's crazy. Nothing makes sense anymore. It's we're living in bizarro world. We're living like the Twilight Zone or something. Uh, but yeah, New Mutants. It tried, but it died, and that's it. <laughs> that's it for New Mutants. Some would say it had a fitting end, considering all the drama it went through. How there was supposed to be... Apparently there was supposed to be reshoots, but they never happened because the actors would have gotten too old. So they just said, screw it. And there's this whole thing with... Uh, oh, it has to be more horror-esque. It's just a bunch of... Bleh. It's bad. 
it's it's just bad. It's cursed. Yeah, it's yeah. A lot of people said it was cursed. That uh, you can't be more accurate than that. So that's August. So it was only two movies. That should tell you how bad things were. <laughs> but now we got to go to September. What happened in September? Well, things didn't get much better. They really didn't. Of course, we got to talk about Tenet because we have to. I have to get to the re- the prediction. The blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. No. Here we go. September preview. With a wide release plan every weekend. Well, that didn't exactly come true. That didn't happen. At all. Okay, so... Yeah, September. Oh... Tenet. Everyone... When it came to all the movies being delayed indefinitely, Tenet was the one movie that was like, no, we're staying put, we're not going to VOD, we're not doing any of that, we are going to be theatrical, nothing is going to stop us. And, you know, they kept to that promise. It did come out in theaters. You can't deny that. And Warner Brothers, they have to be commended for that. They were willing to stick to their guns even though the movie was delayed a couple times it was coming out like mid-july then it was late july then it was mid-august then indefinitely and then labor day weekend september 4th so i'll you know i'll give them credit for you know not giving up but in hindsight they probably should have given up so the numbers they were being incredibly generous. I think I was being super generous too. They thought I would make $125 million. I think I said over $100 million for myself because I assumed that Tenet would be the one where people were like, okay, unhin- didn't care about Unhinged, didn't care about New Mutants, but Tenet, that looks cool. I got to see that. That's what I thought. Oh no. <laughs> I couldn't have been any more wrong. Neither could... Well, me and the numbers. We couldn't have been any more wrong about that. Because it has only made... 41 million dollars... Total... In the US. And it's better overseas. 243 million... Internationally. It's made 284 million worldwide. But still... This... This was not the result... Anybody wanted... 41 million for a movie this big, a movie that cost uh 224 million dollars. That's embarrassing. That's horrible. That's horrific. That's a bomb. And you know, that 41 million, that's that's less than what Inception and Interst- Interstellar, Dunkirk, Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. That's less than what all those movies made in their opening weekends. In fact, that's less than what Dark what Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises made in their opening days. Yeah. It's that bad. It's very bad. So what happened? Why, why did this happen? Well, I think the answer is very clear. I think a lot of audiences just were not willing to go to the theater. They weren't willing to risk their health to see anything, even a movie as big as Tenet. They just weren't willing to do it. And, I mean, I understand the last thing anybody wants is to catch COVID. I don't know anyone who wants to catch COVID. If they do, they're insane. So, yeah, I'm not surprised a lot of people decided to just skip it. But... Yeah, for the movie theater industry, this is this is bad. If forty one million is the best you got in terms of revenue, then you might as well just give up. Like this, just it, this isn't acceptable ever. I mean, long before this whole pandemic happened, you know, at least every month there was at least one movie that made a hundred million domestic. Maybe some that came close, but th- those are usually like the slow months. 
But yeah, you know, the fact that forty one million is the best is the best the box office is gonna get right now. No wonder Wonder Woman ditched that October release date. No wonder Candyman ditched twenty twenty. No wonder Black Widow ditched twenty twenty two. Like it's completely understandable. Like the market, you can't have a big movie in the market right now. It just, it's too risky, and there's a high chance of failure. And Tenant proved that. So that's tragic. What happened to Tenant? I'll still see. I'll see Tenant eventually. It won't be in a theater. I'll probably just buy it on DVD or stream it or something. Even though I'm doing what Nolan said I shouldn't do. I wanted to see it in theaters. This was like one of my most anticipated movies of 2020 because I was so hyped because I'm a Christopher Nolan fan. I've liked all his movies. This looked like another trippy movie like Inception. It looked great. I was really looking forward to it. But then this whole pandemic happened and then I just I, I just didn't want to do it. But I will see Tenet eventually. I will see it. But yeah, what happened to Tenet, it, it's sad. But that's reality. That's the reality. You can't have a successful movie right now. At least not in the US. You just can't. There's no market for it. So yeah, Tenet was a tragedy. What happened after that? The Broken Hearts Gallery. Uh, they thought it would make $10 million. I don't know what I said with my prediction. I think I said 8 Seven, eight, nine, single digits. Nah, fam. Made three million dollars. It's the things have gotten this bad. We're not even in double digits anymore. We're in low single digits. <laughs> I knew this movie wasn't gonna do that well anyway because one, it's not theatrical in the slightest. This doesn't look like an event. This feels like a movie that should have been on Netflix. Um, two, they had no star power. Uh, and three, people just are not willing to... They're not willing to go to the theater. not willing to take any type of risk. And that's what happened. So Broken Hearts Gallery, it bombed. I don't think any of you care. I know I don't care. So... It had no chance. It had zero chance. So there's that. And the final one is Infidel. I bet none of you have heard about this movie. I didn't even know this movie existed until when I made my video on it. But they thought it would make five million. I think I said the same thing. I think I may have said three. It's close to three. It's about near three it might it might reach five if it's lucky so at least it it reached mild expectations like the mild the mildest expectations imaginable it managed to reach it like the bar was so low that it managed to just just get over it so yeah, uh, don't have much to say about Infidel. It existed. Uh, most of you haven't heard of it. I mean, at, at least it, at least theaters got something out of it. At least they're willing to put this out for them. I'm struggling. I'm struggling so bad to say anything positive. There's nothing positive. There's no positives. It's all negative. It's all bad. There's no good news. There's no good news at all. And yeah, th that's it. That's literally it. That's all I can say. That's all the movies I can talk about. Only five. Five. I remember going through like November, December, January. The schedule was so freaking loaded. I was sick of it. But now things have grinded to a halt so much that I, I have to do two recaps in a row you know, at the same time, it's, like, if things were normal, I would have done these separately, because that's how I've, I've done it since I've started doing it. Even if the, the month was weak, I still would have done it separately, but because things are so bleak, 
I gotta do a couple in one video. Oh, and there was Greenland. It was supposed to come out last week. Didn't happen, obviously. In fact, it skipped theaters altogether and is going to HBO Max for like $30 million. I don't know why HBO Max, I don't know why they would want to put it. I don't know why they would spend so much for the rights for it. But yeah, if you want to see Greenland, you better go get an HBO Max account or uh, you're going to have to buy it on VOD. So there's that. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's that. This is so sad. This is the saddest recap ever. <laughs> In fact, all my box office, any movie video I've made recently, whether it be a canceled video, a re a recap, or a prediction video, the tone has been so sad, and I can't help it. Things are terrible. I can't just ignore the fact that things are ab abysmal right now, and they're going to continue. Things are going to continue being abysmal for a long time. It may not be until next summer when things start picking up again. But until that happens, um, yeah, it's it's not gonna be, it's gonna be a sad state of affairs. Uh, I don't know when the next recap video will be. Um, I guess I could do another double recap of, um, October and November because, uh, the October schedule was shot. Almost completely, and November is more or less shot too. Although there's still No Time to Die and Soul. Those are still going to come out. And Crudes too. If it stays. So. I don't know if I, I want to skip October. Because October is so weak. There's nothing at all. I'll think about it. But yeah, there's a good chance I might just skip October entirely. Or at least talk about it a little bit. And then have the main focus be November. I don't know. I don't know how to do any of this anymore. <laughs> it's just it's just a disaster <laughs> trying to make these videos. So yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share. And if any of you were brave enough to go to the movie theater, which one of these movies did you see? Was it good? Was it bad? What was the experience? Let me know. I'm curious. Uh, you want to check out my canceled series where I go over all the de endless delay of movies that have happened since March. You can go. I have a whole playlist on the homepage from March to September last year video I did was September. You go check those out. There are 19 episodes, which means I'm one more away from 20. I'm hoping something happens where I reach the 20th episode. I know I shouldn't be rooting for this, but hey, it delays, it gives me content, all right? <laughs> I can't help it. You want to check out my prediction videos for all the movies you saw here. I have a playlist too. On the homepage, 2020 box office predictions for the whole year because the whole year has been shot. So, I mean, last year I separated them into like summer, uh, I said summer, fall, winter, no, holiday, winter, spring. I just said screw it and I just put them all in the same playlist for 2020. So you want to check all the, all the movies that you know, came out in 2020 and my predictions on them go right ahead. But yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Bye. Yeah.